Hey friends, this is Dee and I am going to make some tutorials for you over viewing the WhatNot app. So just in case you didn't know me, I've been a seller for a very long time on multiple platforms starting out on Yahoo. Remember when you would get a check or money order in the mail? Well, that's been a while. Uh, so fast forward here, 2024. I'm selling on WhatNot for over a year and I really enjoy it and I'm very technical so I thought I would take it to YouTube and make some videos showing you how to do things in the WhatNot app. So highly requested video coming to you sellers today. So when you get the WhatNot app, you open it up on your mobile device. For me, I use an Apple iPhone 14 Pro Max. It's going to look similar if you're on an Apple product, whether it be an iPad, an iPhone, you can even go back to, I was using an iPhone 6S just for demonstration purposes. But today I have it on my computer and we're going to go over some things. So the number one thing we want to do for sellers is obviously you apply, you get approved, you do your onboarding, and then you're pretty much set to do your, your first show. Before you do that, you're going to need to set up some things in the app and I'll probably have other videos for that. But today we're going to talk about multicasting. What is multicasting? So multicasting is when you can broadcast your stream from whatnot to whatever other platform there is. There's other ways to multicast. There's software, there's like OBS. That's like a other video. But today we're going to show you how whatnot has it built in the app for you. So what you want to do is you want to click on your profile. And this is already like you've had shows maybe, or you're scheduling your first show. You can even multicast then because the fun part now that we have multicasting is you could look back on your video when you first started to see how you've improved or you can watch your streams. So for me, you got to make sure number one, you have a show scheduled. So we're just going to use today's show, tonight's show, actually, we're going to click on it on that show. If I say start show, I'm going to, it's going to bring me to another menu. It says, do you want to go live? So I'm going to click on start show. Now, obviously right before you do this, you make sure all your stuff is loaded in your store with pictures, weights, descriptions, quantities, prices, double check that stuff, make sure it's correct. Okay. So currently as of right now, I am authorizing what not to multicast my stream to YouTube and Facebook live, but I am going to change it up because I want to show you how to actually do it. So I'm going to unlink my account. Okay. And I'm going to unlink this account to actually, I'm going to leave this one alone because it was kind of a hassle to set up. I'm going to edit my streaming options because if I go live right now, I'm going live on this computer and it may not be set up for my microphone, my camera, my phone, because I do use my iPhone to stream on whatnot as the camera. Anyways, so I'm going to hit edit streaming options. Okay. So there's kind of like a authentication thing process. So what happens on YouTube is I need to link my account. So if I click link account on my phone, now, if I'm using it for my phone, like you would be doing, it would just open up Google's app for you. And then what happens? I'm just going to say, continue on my other screen here. It is going to open a window and ask me to choose my account to continue to whatnot. You can't see this right now because I have other accounts for privacy. I'm not going to show them. I'm going to select the DR archivist email account. And then what's going to happen is it's going to publish. It's going to publish a number on the screen, like just to verify it's me. And then right away, what happens is the Google app is going to open up and just basically say, Hey, do you want whatnot to access your Google data? No, don't allow, or yes, it's me with a green check mark. Well, I'm going to say yes, because I've already done it. And then what happens next is they pop up the number that's on the screen here that you cannot see is number 93. Then they'll pop up with like three little numbers and you just match it basically. And then as soon as that happens, it, my account will be say active here. Boom. Look at that. Is that crazy? It's so quick. It's so simple. It's not that complicated. And basically before you obviously link your YouTube account, you have to create a YouTube account. Um, and it's free, it's easy to do, and it's kind of a similar process. So just to confirm and make sure, let me just pull this up on the window here. There we go. Um, 
when I click on there, I can turn it off. It doesn't remove my account. Maybe I don't want to multicast. Maybe I'm doing a private stream on whatnot. You can turn that off because even if you do a private stream and you have it turned on, it's going to multicast that private stream over to YouTube. You can just go into YouTube and turn it off. But anyway, for this testing purposes, we're going to leave that on. And then pretty much I'm going to say done. Right before I do done, you guys, I'm just looking at it, making sure, okay, do I want to make sure I go to the Facebook? YouTube is set up. It says active, active. Now you see Twitch. Now Twitch has been known to be for gamers, uh, streamers that are just talking, but you can multicast to Twitch. I did it for a little bit. I didn't know enough about it. So I just, and, you know, I turned off that active option. So I'm going to hit done. Okay. The next thing you can do is you can hit go live. It will go live from your device, like in a second. And I'm not going to go live because I'm not prepared for the show. This is just testing, but here's something to show you. When you do go live, right up in this spot on your device will be a small YouTube and Facebook icon with like a window. It says, you know, if there was an error, it'll have a little thing, a, a little clear like mark. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like when you're multicasting or your stream is working. Okay. So it'll, it'll give you things say like successfully live streaming. And then you can, it's grayed out like little box. You can just hit the X and then those icons will remain on screen with the rest of the icons for um, whatnot. Okay, so now once you, I'm gonna pull this other window up that I didn't open. Once you go live and you're streaming, this is what you're gonna, your viewers are gonna see on YouTube. And I'm gonna bring a new window over here that you can't see just yet. Okay, this is my YouTube page. This is considered a home page for YouTube, right? Okay. And so there's a home, you can turn it off. You can change it. If you want to subscribe to somebody, there's a subscribe button usually about here. There's going to be videos, shorts. Here's where we're at. This is what we're talking about today. The live tab. So as you can see, I have a ton of live stream multicasted shows from whatnot that I pushed over to YouTube. I think it's about six or seven months. Let's just see. I mean, I could have sorted it at the top, right? There's an option to go oldest. You can do this on anybody's. The oldest is seven months ago. So I've been multicasting from whatnot for seven months. Popular and it bases it popular on views. Oldest, you know, whatever you want to do. But just to let you know, you can make a thumbnail. You can always add that in later. But this is how you multicast from whatnot to YouTube. Oh, and when you are doing it, the cool part, what whatnot does, this is kind of like a nice little bonus. YouTube actually, uh, or whatnot actually created this in their programming and it's kind of a nice little feature I like. So when you're watching it, I kind of forgot to say this when you're in the live tab, if you notice there's a QR code, so let's just go into this video. I'm going to mute myself and I'm just going to zoom in. So whatnot has created like a layover mask that will appear on all the whatnot um, lives that you do that you multicast with because it's basically their advertisement for their platform but for your show so if someone's watching me on youtube or facebook and they see that cure they can take a picture of it and then they could click on it and it'll take them to a link to sign up for whatnot when they sign up with this with this qr code they're going to get ten dollars off their first purchase with any seller on the platform but what happens is once they complete their purchase, whatnot's going to give you 10 bucks for them signing up. So it's kind of a win-win for everybody, but it is on all of your videos. And just in case you didn't know, it's always up to the right, but it goes up and down on the screen sometimes. And I don't, I don't know how that movement is controlled, but if you look here, it's moved to the like center of it. So these are just things you can check out. And, um, that is how you multicast and you could go back if you want to watch yourself. So for me, I want to show one quick thing. A lot of sellers might not know when you're on your profile, there's two little lines up here at the top. You click on that. This is for everybody actually. And this is, this is it. Okay. So we've got just above here, we've got settings for the app. So in order to use the seller tools, you must have it turned on. Seller tools is right here. Now, I believe if you don't have that turned on, you cannot multicast. So if you're wondering why you don't have that option, it's because the seller tools are not turned on. So seller tools might include zooming and just 
you know, zooming in, swiping the chat away and zooming in. So these are things you want to make sure is turned on or you cannot utilize that at all. Okay, that is all I have for you with multicasting. I hope this helps you and I hope you have a fantastic day.